up guys, Dr. Dan here. We got Brian in the house. We're gonna show you, uh, before we even start with this chiro appointment, Brian's in here for low back pain, but we're gonna show you how we're gonna fix his stance and try to ingrain it into his brain so he starts to develop good bilateral leg symmetry, muscle strength, which is gonna help his low back pain to resolve. So come in here, breathe. And when we look at Brian, we see left foot's nice and straight, but right foot is turned out, okay? Brian, you're going to step your feet a little closer together. Twist your knees open, nice, nice, and straighten your knees, lock them out back like that, nice. So when we catch Brian, whoops, sorry there. When we catch Brian in a uh, imbalanced stance, we're gonna repeat to him and to all of our other patients how important it is to match the feet up and then uh, twist the knees open and pick those arches up off the ground, which right now, when we look at the picture on the wall, He's putting the pressure on the outside edge of his feet, developing his bow, what we call the bow set in go to coaching, which is quad activation back here into the glutes, back into the back chain. So it feels like that. So uh, let's move a little more narrow, actually. All right, and now let's knees open. Good. Now let's just add in some side bending down to this side. As you're into this right side, straighten both knees up tall and just kind of feel how you want to bend. Keep this other hand kind of touched right here. So we're gonna isolate some of that QL, you feel this kind of stretches right here. Both knees are open and tall, and then let's slowly transition over to this opposite side. Keeping both hands kind of on the side. Shoulder blades roll open a little bit, nice, dude. Both knees roll out a little bit, both knees straighten up tall, especially with the like that. I feel like you're a little shaky in that position. Mm -hmm. Cramping. 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 So you got a cramp in his lat, which is exactly what we're going for, which is activation of the lateral line. Activation of the lateral line. In this position, weights on the outside edge of the feet. Knees are rolled open a little bit. And you're going to start to work on your single leg. You feel how more weights on your right leg than your left leg now? Feel how you can kind of sink into it a little bit deeper. And now back over to the opposite side. Both knees roll open. Touch that right hand, that left hand down. Both knees roll open, both knees straighten back, both shoulders roll open. Right back. Softly sink into that left side. You may get a cramp as you yeah. isolate that oblique. And what we're trying to teach you here is how to balance out your QL muscles and mm -hmm. your low back muscles. You may feel one side is a little easier than the other side. You may feel pain when you lean into this side, or you may feel a little pain or tightness or stretching out of the left side low back, right? Simple exercise that we want to start to nail in the shower both hands touch, watch me. Both shoulders pull open into our back chain. Nice, head up, nice and high. Good, and then over this way. And then last thing we're gonna try to correct is when you're in this position, I want you to get your eyes. No. Yes, there you go, like that. Now shoulders open, reach that fingertip down. Softly, just kind of bend in. And then pull that head, like, there you go. Do you feel how much that pulls out of your neck? So I want you to think about holding like a 100 pound weight in your hand and really lifting that head up and turning the head so that you get that neck stretch. Do you feel that pulls out of your neck? So when we talk about whole body uh, core activation and the deep muscles that surround the spine, we want to isolate these guys down here in the lumbar spine and we want to stretch this stuff out of here. So this is a simple exercise. It starts down in the feet. It moves up into the double knees open. It moves up into the back chain shoulder position. And then it moves up into the head where we kind of really cut, start to try to pull that head. There you go, like that and that hand reaches way down, and then the head pulls right there, you go. So it pulls this mm -hmm. side, there's your, and back over to the side. So when we run and we skate, and if you've ever watched speed skating, especially those mm -hmm. dudes that travel, when they're in their wide leg position, their head is just bobbing and cutting yeah. left and right. And their whole torso moves around. Uh, speed skaters actually get into go to movement beautifully because they get into this like shoulder pump. But the head always stays in the right, what's mm -hmm. called the writing reflex, where we tilt and tilt like this, right? Also with boxing, it's like we want to jump, we want to cut, we want to duck, and we want to dodge those punches, mm -hmm. right? So when we start to get feet straight, knees open, we start to side cut, we start to get the head comfortable with this side bend. And as you do this more, it helps the spine to learn how to move well. A little bit of shoulders open, and then over to this side, a little bit of shoulders open. Spend a little time in this position, feeling how you're weighted on this leg, almost off of this leg a little bit. And if you come over to this side, you can even raise up this right heel a little bit, and just kind of really feel how you're more on this, more on this left leg, more on the right leg. Cool. Straight narrow feet, toes in a little bit, knees open a little bit. 
touch your fingertips together like this, twist back to this side. We're, we're gonna lean over that side. We're gonna use, we're gonna set the shoulders down. We're gonna use the front hand to push the back hand back. Now lower those elbows down. Lean your head over to this right foot more. Yep, like that. Take deep breath in. Exhale, twist back. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale. Exhale, twist back. Both knees softly, especially that left knee. Roll that left knee open. Nice. Feel that tension down in the left hip, maybe back in the left butt cheek. Come over to this way. Softly rotate. Softly lean into it a little bit. Use that front hand, the right hand, to push that left hand back. Inhale deep. Exhale, rotate back through. Both knees roll open. Head up, chest up. Shoulders and all. Yes, there you go. Find your back chain. And then back to this side. Feel how you're rotating through here? Soft through the hands, low with the shoulders, back with the right arm, four, uh, back with the left arm. The left arm pushes us a little bit. Inhale deep. Exhale deep, rotate into it a little bit. Good. Back to the left side. Shoulders down, nice and easy, soft, set down. Breath in. Exhale out. Push back. See how we rotate the spine through here? Think about the body rotating back into this position. Okay? Put the hands down. Open the palms up. Focus on the left hand. Lower the left shoulder. Twist back into this side. Feel that left foot. How it's like really torquing open. And back over this side. Open up the back right hand. And now focus on the right foot rolling out. The left knee also rolls out to the left a little bit. And you're trying to make, yes, there you go. Feel that, oh, there you go. Now you picked your arch up in your foot. Head up, chest up, shoulders down. Nice rotation. Cool. You see how good that feels for us? And we open up this way. Head up, chest up. If you want to make it a little more intense, you turn the head, you look at the back hand. Double knees roll open. Head up, chest up, shoulders down. Yes, there you go, bro. Find that rotational power out of the mid back. And then over this way. Palms up. Look back. Deep inhale. Deep exhale. Rotate right around. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Nice. Cool. Nice little flow to work through. All right, have a seat for you. Hands back and down. Easiest thing to do when we sit, we just start to power up. Yep, that's your power up. That's your soft neck. You're feeling the movement. Brian's feeling the movement. Left twist. Right twist. Uh, give me a little background. You're a hockey player, right? Yeah, so play hockey just recreationally. Uh, worked in a steel mill for about 10 years. Got out of that, did PTA for about eight years. Got out of that on my own business, so at the computer a lot. Shoulders open, nice. At the computer a lot. Uh, he started coming in with low back pain. On his first couple appointments, this is only fourth or fifth appointment. We've already gone through a number of shoulder cutting exercises, back chain work. We've talked to him about starting to be conscious of his feet and picking his ankles up. All these things help to eliminate back pain and balance out the skeletal structure. Throughout the day, he's working on a little bit of cut right, a little bit of cut left, a little bit of double power up right through here where he feels his little shake, his little quiver at, which means we're activating the core. We're getting muscles that we haven't used to fire well. Notice how soft the left shoulder is. Notice how the right side is a little tenser here. Mm -hmm. If I say power up the left arm, I mean, yep, find that spot. Now if I say power up the right arm, notice how that's a little tougher to access. Mm -hmm. So when we access this deep, deep, deep back chain spot, it's gonna ultimately help us reduce right side neck pain, right neck strain, and irritation up into these vertebrae. All right, put your hands on your thighs for you do. Last adjustment was pretty solid. Good movement throughout the body. You will start to feel as you do some of your straight and narrow stance with your side bends. We just talked about the writing reflex and getting that neck to stretch out. And you'll feel as you do this, how this right side right through here, how you're gonna start to feel this tension accumulated up here and how you wanna pull it down and put it back down into your right lap. Important to note and focus as you do these exercises, 
that you are, uh, you know, if you feel a muscle cramp, that means you're stimulating that muscle in a way that it needs to be stimulated, right? Mm -hmm. So you're getting your low back, your left side low back to strengthen just with a little side bending and a little weight shifting from the left outside foot to the right outside foot. Look down for me. Look down for me. Look down for me. Look down for me. Good. Look down. Thank you so much. Today we're running crazy in the office. <laughs> Look down. Look down. Look down. Look down. Look down. Yeah, so we're filming this for our YouTube channel, which we have a bunch. Of, actually, a new guy came in this week. I saw Dr. Dan on YouTube. She's on. <laughs> Um, so guys on YouTube, couple couple things we try to motivate all of our people. I try to motivate them to feel their body move better. And uh, by doing some simple postural exercises throughout the day, you can really activate muscle groups that have been dormant or inactive for a long period of time. Your body develops these compensations, these tight areas throughout them. <clears throat> Brian, we know, has a left shoulder that moves a little better than his right shoulder. Part of that plays into how we hold ourselves throughout the hockey game you know, throughout, you know, even just practice and stick handling and starting to be conscious when we're in that skate position and you're in a face-off position and you've got your hand, whether you're left hand, right hand, but you're kind of like driven back, elbows are down and in. You want to practice this like nice back extension on your skate so that you can, you know, a lot of the guys will skate up to line, they're here. We want to be here a little bit better, a little bit more back chain and soft, easy hold of the, of the stick back into the lats and the triceps. Is that cool? Yep. Uh, and you'll start to feel as you activate those muscles, they're gonna burn a little bit, they're gonna fatigue a little bit, but ultimately they're gonna get stronger. You're gonna activate your deep core system and man, you'll just feel how it turns into spine health and pain reduction too. Look up, look down, look up, look down. Look down, look up, look down, look up, look down, look up, look down, whole way down, look up, look down, look up, look down, look up, look down, look up, look down, look up, and look down. Nice job. All right, let's go face down for me, big man. And then the other thing we're gonna cover right at the end of Brian's appointment is correct lateral foot stretching, which we do have videos on the YouTube channel about, uh, about just healthy foot exercises. Movement, healthy movement in the low back starts with the flexibility of the feet. Push into my hand for me here, dude. And stop. And push. And stop. And push. And stop. And push. Hey, we're getting flexible here too, man. Stop. Push. And stop. Push. We talked a little bit about the rocker position. Sitting down on the knees and the ankles. Or no? Yeah. Yes. Yep. Okay. Feet up here. We notice right off the get-go how this left side bends a little easier. The foot stretches a little easier pushing my hand. Stop. Push. Stop. Push. And stop. And push. And stop. Did you get to skate this week? I did. Push. How'd it feel? Felt good. Starting to notice the difference with that right foot. Nice, man. Nice. So we're going to talk about some foot stretches for the right foot. Um, we also noticed that and this is how things key in very well. Uh, when we just did his original stance, how that right foot was towed out a little bit, uh, but he's got way less internal rotation or toe in, what we call the release position in Goda, 
push, stop, push, stop, push one more time, and stop. And this uh, little fourth and fifth toe here is what we're talking about, just does not bend anywhere near as well as this left foot. Push and stop. And guys, what I feel, which you probably can't tell on camera, but he's got a little more flexibility down here in the foot. Push, stop. Good. Okay, right here, nice. Deep inhale, deep exhale down for me. Rest those shoulders down, easy. Nice, breath in. Exhale down for me, whole way down. Nice job, brother, breath in. Exhale down for me. Piece of cake, the whole T-spine is money today, man. There goes the right SI joint already too. Nice, face over to the right side up. So when you guys get pain in places, Pain presents for a whole bunch of reasons. Sometimes it's nutritional related, which Brian knows all about. He takes the supplements pretty mm -hmm. regularly, right? Yeah. He eats very clean. He's a le he's lean body type, so he's got good lean muscle. Um, you know, pain presents, if you're in chronic pain, your body's just, it's clogged up. It's, it's what we say toxic. You gotta detox, you gotta eat well, you gotta take, you know, certain nutrients, vitamins, minerals, and herbs that help to reduce inflammation, like turmeric and omega-3 fish oils. Breath in, exhale down. Whole way, nice, other side. Easy today, dude. Uh, so nutrition's very important. Bottom leg straight. You guys have an Instagram, YouTube channel? Uh, no. Uh, yeah. Instagram? No, no, Facebook's a big one for us. What's your supplement company? It's DTCHealth.com. DTCHealth.com, check it out, breath in. Exhale out, whole way down, nice. Fire back for me. Um, Brian's got his nutrition dialed in, he's got his exercise dialed in, he does it. How many kids again? Two. Two kids? Yeah. And still finding or making time to stay a little active? Mm -hmm. Trying to keep them active as well? Oh yeah. Be a good role model. Exercise, get your kids to exercise. Relax. Toe. Nice. 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 We got the little toe today, big guy. There you go. Oh. Starting to move. Starting to move. <laughs> okay. How's left leg feel? Feel Tight. all right. Right side though, when we push down. Okay, pain, no pain. No, no, no pain. pain. Okay, so guys, what we're checking when we do when we do the, our plantar flexion test is just how mobile his ankles are, how plant, how able he is to stretch and plantar flex. And this left foot, if you can tell on video, is a little lower than the right foot. This right ankle, right knee is his stiffer knee, and uh, stiffer knee, stiffer ankle. So this is where his restriction. Uh, is at where his tension is at, which carries up the leg, up the IT band or the quad into the lower back and the SI joint, okay? So today was our first appointment where we got Brian's right toe and we did not get the cuboid to adjust. The cuboid is this little like lateral foot and this is where we've got to work on him getting a better bow set, uh, a better knee leg foot position. Can you touch your feet together? Mm -hmm. And then we talked a little bit about trying to squeeze the feet together and twist the knees open gently. Squeeze the feet, twist the knees. Nice. And feel how shaky-ish shaky we can get right there. How strenuous up in the hips. Maybe a little burn up in the hips. Mm -hmm. Maybe a little twist the left knee open. Hold right there. Twist the right knee open. And you should notice that the right hip is a little weaker than the left hip, or a little more strenuous, or a little yeah. more fatiguing. Left knee open, and then right knee open. Good, there you go. Right knee open more. Nice, keep the feet squeezing together gently. Mm -hmm. Feel how that works up here in the adductors? Mm -hmm. Maybe a little bit of quads, maybe a little bit of IT bands. If I say push your left foot into your right foot, and then if I say push your right foot into your left foot, 
okay? You're gonna get a nice power up of the pelvis. It's a nice, easy exercise to create that double bow set leg activation. All right, take a break. Hands. Elbow. Here we go. Nice. All right. And here. Did we get those elbows to move last appointment? I don't think. Oh, yeah? Your back's doing way better, man. Yeah. Your thoracic yeah. spine's Feels adjusting. much better. I mean, what, what, four appointments? Yeah. So sometimes patients progress really quickly. They adjust really well. They do their exercises at home. They feel their body start to move better. Hands here. Little palm press. Little shoulder wall open. When we're in bed at night, we work on our back chain activation. Right hand press, right shoulder pulls open. We find that right mid back musculature and we hone in and focus in on it. Left hand press, left shoulder rolls open. That side should be a little bit easier side. You can tell how it's easier, right? You guys can't feel what we teach, but you can feel when you do your exercises, your hand presses, how one side may be a little easier than the other side in your coil. The coil is what we're trying to activate. All right, hands press, relax here. Uh, keep your hands up there. Easy on the left. Nice. Easy on the right. Nice job, man. Tall set for me. And spin to the right. Okay, so takeaways today. Some narrow stance. Side bending. Mm -hmm. Piece cake. <laughs> Sometimes I have key phrases I throw out. Scooch forward for me. Hands back and down. Shoulders open. All right, the dude is resting here as much as he can throughout the day. By the end of the day, we should have 20 minutes racked up in this position, focused on the left elbow straight, the left shoulder blade back gently, focused on the right elbow straight, the right shoulder blade back gently, focused on the twist left and the twist right, and developing the rotation power out of the spine, out of the core, okay? Last thing we wanted to talk about, um, come out here with me, is getting him to release better. So why don't you go right here, and I'm going to go right here. We're going to step left foot straight forward. We're going to toe in on the right, and we're going to come up on the top of the foot here. And then what you're going to do for me is just apply a little pressure down to the top of the foot. You're going to try to let the body spin around to this left side, and you're going to bend into it a little bit, and you're going to push as much weight as you can down to the back of the right the right foot, right? You feel how stretchy, stretchy, mm -hmm. you gotta get down there. Feel how as you do this, you coil into this left side, you can sink into it. And uh, what you wanna do is focus on that back foot pressing down into the top of the floor. You can tall stand, straighten your knee, this back knee, get that quad to really kind of activate as you straighten. Try to straighten that right leg out as long as you can. And then sink back into it. You may get some cramping in the quad or you may get some cramping in your right calf. Let that right knee turn in. There you go, like that, boom. Take a break, switch sides, gently relax that foot. Set that foot straight, left toes in. Push down through the top of the foot if you wanna squat into this right knee open, which this is gonna be your tougher, and then left knee in. There you go, like that. Feel that stretch on the top of the foot. Ultimately, we want this to get a little lower. We want to keep this right knee way out. We want to twist the hips. And guys, one of the things we're going to work on with Brian on future points is to get him to coil into this right hip better so we can get the spiraling. Yes, there you go. Stand up tall, straighten that left knee back, lock that left leg out, and straighten that whole thing. Yeah, nice. Feel that movement down there? Yeah. So we want right knee cap open, left knee cap in. Sink into it, push through the top of the foot. Try to really get that stretch in the top of the foot, the pain down there we got to work out. And then it's a tall stand straight in that left knee. Focus on that left quad straighten. Yep. Tall stand twist. Okay, good. Let's work on that a little bit at home as well. Yeah. Okay? Doing better? Yeah, doing much better. I will see you in two weeks. Sounds okay. good. Guys on YouTube, we'll peace out. See you later.